everything you see here is exactly the way it was when we quit yesterday. And I don't believe in luck or anything like that, even though I kid around a lot about Murphy's Law and, you know, and I was talking about Lucky Rabbit's, Rabbit's Foot the other day and stuff like that. Uh, I think you make your own luck. And I was thinking, what made me think of that was that yesterday I had left the final edit until too late. It was well after 3 o'clock. By the time YouTube got it uh, processed, uh, it, was, it was about 25 minutes late being posted. And then to make matters worse, for whatever reason, they didn't post it at 4K. It was at very low resolution for about the first hour. And for those of you who uh, like to watch it as soon as it comes up, well, you had a, a fuzzy picture to look at. And I was thinking, isn't that the way? Just the time I'm talking about how everything is so sharp and you can see the little dots on the piece of paper and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> I don't believe in bad karma or that kind of stuff. It just, just was bad management on my part. I'm going to try and do better and get this up and you know, post it properly. Now, let's see if we can not just re-glue that. Um, as I mentioned to one of the viewers uh, when I replied in my comments this morning, I'm going to try and use uh, uh, CA Thin instead of the medium here because it will cure a lot faster. Um, and it might not leave such a globby mess too. Anyway, let's see what we can do here and continue on with this railing today. Now I started to mention this yesterday and then I sort of got sidetracked and uh, what I was doing in the past was I was soaking this in solvent and getting to get the cured CA glue off of it but now I'm just using my lighter. I am probably going to have to buy another lighter but hey, that's alright. I won't buy a pink one. Not, not that I have anything against pink, I just sort of, I like blue better. Okay, here we are back to where we were yesterday. And I'm just doing a dry run here. There's no CA on the applicator right now at all. So what I want to do is sort of get a hold of it there. But you know, I'm I'm noticing that I can't push it down into place like I, well, like I did yesterday. Because there appears to be glue built up on top of there. And I just can't get it down. Maybe if I take my hobby knife here and just sort of scratch this out of here. Should brush that uh, debris away because it's, what will happen is it's going to uh, the the glue will uh, solidify all around it and I'll end up with a worse mess than before. Just take my little brush here. Suppose I could blow it away too. Okay, this is my uh, thing I used to blow dust off the lens. That's about as good as we can reasonably get. Okay, let's try it again now and see if the bottom rail will get down more into the ledge. I am going to have to repaint anyway, I know that. I'm trying to hook onto the... Yeah, I think that should work if I can push it down and in against the ledge. Then the CA thin should... Okay, let's just try it here. Okay, we got CA thin on there. We're gonna go down and in. Okay, now let's hold it right there for a minute. And hopefully when I pull the applicator away, there will be a, a larger area being glued to the ledge than there is to the applicator, if you know what I mean. Okay, here we go, see what happens. Maybe I didn't wait long enough. Okay, I'm not looking at my watch, but I'm estimating that was about 30 seconds. I'll just sort of twist it off here so that I... Oh, this doesn't look too good. 
Looks like it's, no, it's, it's worse than before. And now I can't get my applicator off of the, oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm going to have to turn the camera off and move it, sorry. Well, that turned out to be a, almost a disaster, didn't it? Um, I think I know where I went wrong there. I allowed the, the forked part of the applicator to sort of hug the bottom rail. And um, I almost had to break the bottom rail to get the thing to release. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again just a little bit differently. I'm noticing that the bottom rail is uh, not quite the right shape. See if I put this right here. I'll try it again. Okay, I'll hold that down right there. I'll come in from behind. Just sort of bend that a little bit if we can. I don't think it's quite enough. Maybe I'm using the wrong thing to push from behind. Okay, let me try my little pointer here. It's a little bit smaller. Okay, I want to try and curve this around this way. Okay, what's that going to look like now? Well, it's some better. i get this railing back on here now. Now the other end's gone and got itself caught on something. Okay, let's do another dry run. Maybe if I was to hold the applicator like this so that the forked part can't get over top. Okay, let, what would happen if we... Maybe I should move my holder down right here. I was to come in sort of from behind. That might work better. Looks like this one rail is sort of bent up now, it doesn't it? Some better. Okay, now what I want to do is just hold it there. Maybe poke it down a bit with this. There. Does it look like anything's coming off? No. Hopefully, if I sort of twist my applicator off, it'll pull away and leave the rail. Yeah. Okay, now if I can move my holder downer, which isn't really holding down a whole lot because it's Looks like it twisted and sitting on the deck here. Um, yeah, if I can move the holder down or over here somehow. Now, I don't know how much time has passed here. But a ridiculously uh, long amount. And as you can see, I bent the rail on the top there. Okay, I'm thinking that that is wicking its way in between the ledge and the rail. I could feel that it had sort of glued there. So uh, what's going to happen now when I release the pressure? That stay there. Now we'll just sort of try and move along here. Okay, let's leave well enough alone. Come in from behind. Did we actually get any? Maybe it's time to uh, burn off my applicator. Now right here on the corner, if I can push Push that in and hold it there. That 
doesn't feel right. Okay, if it would glue right there, it'd be pretty good. I can always straighten up the railing later. I know it's not straight, but the main thing is that we can get the bottom rail in the right spot, and then that next post that's closest to you. If I can remove it here. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to have to repaint. Okay, now if I can put my pusher down or right around here somewhere. I'm going to have to bend my pin or else readjust my pliers because it's... the, the uh, dowel part is resting on the wood that goes around the ship here. Okay, that's somewhat better. But is it now going to have a tendency to pull pull the railing over on me? Kind of does. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can get this post in place. can't feel it but I'm putting a bit of pressure there pu pulling this way so that it's being pressed against the ledge. Now if we take this and just sort of straighten that bottom rail this way okay now we'll do this post right here. Put just a little more on there. Oh, that might have been too much. Guess we know what the moron was. Let's try this, maybe if we pull it from this side. I suppose my applicator is blocking what I'm doing here and you can't see. I'm sort of pressing down here. It looks like it's still a little bit liquidy. It should be curing very quickly now. Okay, a few seconds has passed here. Let's see if we can move down a bit another post. You know, I had thought this section was going to be really fast and easy. Maybe if I hook it a little bit differently here, sort of get it in there. Come in from behind, maybe. Ooh! Pretty good. I think I better burn off my applicator. It looks like it's kind of plugged up there. Okay, let's try that again here. Just try not to get it on the deck first. Oh, I did. I do believe that's uh, that post is, is secured in place, the one that's right by the up by the pusher downer. Let's see if we can get it out without pulling the railing off. There we go. Now we'll get this one here. Push that over. You know what? My uh, my bend is no longer in the right place. I'm gonna have to rebend that. I think the time to do that might be after we secure that post in place. 
the post is in the right place. That was that was lucky. Now, I don't believe in luck, but I believe in being lucky. That's going to probably cure in the right place without putting any pressure with the applicator. Does it look like the railing is on this side of the ledge, though? kind of does. Now yeah, that might be better. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more on there, because I think I broke it loose. Okay, now clearly I'm going to have to straighten this this kink out. Maybe these are maybe these ones are just a little bit too wide. Try these ones here; they're a little bit thinner. Okay, now I don't want to break my post loose. I just want to straighten out that kink. So if I squeeze this together like that, it sort of did. Now can I just bend everything so it's going to look natural? Oh, my pusher downer bent it. Okay, let's get that straightened up here. Probably that post is going to break loose now. Well, first of all, if it's going to break loose, may as well get our bend in the right direction. Which is like that. You know, that post is still stuck on there. Get this on the right spot. I'm going to have to put my pusher downer at a different angle here. It's it's coming in too too much at too much of an angle. Instead of pushing down, it's pulling. Okay, gonna reposition here. Now, while I was trying to reposition everything, I was noticing how this thing wants to just sort of almost naturally be in the right position. So why don't I just take advantage of that? Look at that. And, uh, you know, just tack it along the bottom here. I'll put the macro lens on for the next one. Okay, we've done the post at the bend, and then we did the next one here. I think we can probably skip a post down. Just do it right in here. I do believe some got in there. Okay. Now we can move back a bit here. Now you'll notice that uh, CA thin, it works a lot better in a case like that. Now for the last little bit, I'll sh shove this in a bit here. I wish the uh, everything would go this easy. And the last one. Now we have this last section right here. And I'm just wondering if I was to just sort of eyeball it here, I'll bet you if I was to cut it off at that post, you know, the post that's leaning against the post, uh, it would be almost exactly right. Um, 
well, maybe not, because see where this ladder is at the, at the left side there? Obviously, it doesn't go across the front of the ladder. wonder uh, if I was to go from that post to the end, it wouldn't be quite enough. So maybe we'll cut it right there. And then there's going to be... Uh, just not going to meet up properly at the ladder, though, is it? Unless I was to try and, you know, glue a post on the end. Maybe that's what I'll try to do. Okay, I'm going to cut it right there at the post that's leaning against the post. And, uh, yeah, thinking out loud again. Okay, so we've got a corner here. We've got a corner here. Now it looks to me like the first bend. Let me get a little better grip on it here. Okay, the first bend should be almost between those two posts, between the, yeah, almost, but not quite. Now I've just eyeballed it here, and uh, it looks to me like it's almost perfect on the first attempt. Um, now, speaking of eyeballs, i got to keep one eye on the clock today. That reminds me of a, an old song that Harry Belafonte used to sing when I was a kid. It went something like, with his one eye on the clock and the other on the railing or something like that. And a bow, wow, wow. I'm pretty sure that's the way it went. Might not have the words exactly right, but... Now, I haven't touched anything here. And I was thinking, why don't I just glue it all down just the way it is, and then maybe I could bend stuff while it's attached to the deck. Like it has to make another little little bend right here. But then, from past experience, I found that it is very hard to cut the rail to length if it's fastened down. So I'm thinking right now, if I can just grab hold of it here at the right place. Okay and bend it slightly. Okay, so I got the bend. Sorry, I'm getting my hands in your way there. Okay, I got that bend right, I think. Let's put it on the deck here. Get it back so that this post is going to be in the, in the right place. Maybe I should be using something else here. Like I don't know what. Would that be better? Okay, now those two posts are in the right place. Our bend right here is in the right place. The bend right here is pretty much in the right place. You know, the, the next bend would come at the post, or maybe just this side of it. And it looks like about a 45 degree bend. Maybe I should be using the uh, skinny tweezers. Okay. Let's drop it down on there, and we might have to readjust. Oh yeah, I got the angle way too much. Straighten it out a bit here. Try it again. Starting to get a little bit shaky here. I'm going to have to go for some sort of counseling at the end of today for stress or something. Actually, I'm, I'm not stressed out doing this. I'm really enjoying it. Even when stuff goes wrong, I enjoy it. Well, I don't don't enjoy the fact that it went wrong, but I enjoy the 
trying to straighten it up afterwards. As I've said before, he's sort of got nothing else to do. Okay, now get this back here. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should shut the camera off. Good thing I'm not using film anymore. Good thing you can fast forward, right? Now, oh, I see what's wrong. It's on the other side of the ladder there. I'm going to shut the camera off, sorry. Okay, it's, it's taken a little bit of uh, maneuvering here, but I think I've got it. Now, no more poking at it. Now, if I was to put a post about a third of the way between this post and this post, if I was to glue something right there, doesn't it look like it would be just about dead on? It would look quite natural. So I'm going to try that. I don't know if I have time to do it yet today. I'm going to edit out these last few scenes here and just see how things are going. It could be that, uh, whoops, didn't I say I wasn't going to poke at it anymore or something like that? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, if I was to put a post at a third of the distance from this post to this post, right there. I'm going to have to cut this video off. We're already up to 27 minutes here. If I don't, we're going to be late again today. And we're going to have to glue our little post on in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.